Don't do this at home, guys, if you are not rich. Now I just got the shoe. Ready? <sighs> this is not feeling right. I thought it could be smart to give you guys a little backstory before I start this video because right now I'm on a four and a half weeks long altitude camp in Sierra Nevada. On day three at this camp I had a silly crash in one of the corners down the mountain on my bike. The speed wasn't high but I got a pretty deep cut in my ankle. It was okay the first couple of days after the crash and I could train what I wanted to do but five days after the crash I got an infection in my ankle so I had to take a few days off because I had to take antibiotics. Then I tried to train again but then my foot just swollen up so I had to take another rest day and then together with the nurse we decided to take that rest day down at sea level hoping that my ankle could heal faster. Then I started to train again and that is basically what this video is all about. It's about how it is being on training camp when things not are going in the right direction and you just have to learn how to deal with it. So, hope you enjoy this video. It's 11 days since my crash and I'm on my way to the doctor for my daily routine with cleaning and replacing the bandage. And I'm pretty excited to hear what the doctor have to say about my ankle because yesterday I did pretty much training. Every morning I go to the doctor and then we decide what I can do of training that specific day. And yesterday we decided that I could try to swim. It was actually seven months since last time I was in a pool, so it was pretty heavy. But today it seems like that was not the smartest decision, because the ankle had not healed as good as we was hoping for. So today I will not go to the pool, but uh, I will be able to ride my bike inside with these kind of shoes and yeah, do some other easy training. Ready for the first session of the day and today this will be my bike shoes and the reason why for that is because uh, together with the doctor we think that the reason why my ankle has healed so slow is because my normal bike shoes give some pressure around where I have the cut in my ankle so that affects the bloodstream that helps the ankle to heal so that's the reason why I'm using these kind of shoes. I was riding two hours in the morning yesterday and also two hours in the evening. So now I'm pretty used to this kind of uh, shitty shoes. Gonna have two hours and I will go down and do some uh, rowing and core and mobility work. Yes, then we are in the big training hall. I'm gonna do some rowing, but first I'm gonna take a lactate measurement in Casper. He is doing LT1 up here today. He has done 37 minutes at 250 watts. So we'll see if he's uh, under spot on or above LT1. Uh, heavy to breathe up there. You can guess the lactate. <laughs> one five. One five, that's probably a little bit high. One one. Damn bro. LT1. <laughs> Right. Halfway, 30 minutes done and it's time to measure the lactate for Casper again. So then we'll see if the lactate is still the same or if it has decreased or increased. Hopefully 
it's uh, the same or lower than his at LT1. One point two. So uh, he's uh, actually probably a few watts above LT1. So uh, I would recommend to do 245 watts instead of 250. But uh, pretty good intensity control. Now 30 minutes more on this machine, then some cord mobility, and then it's lunch time. Training done. And when you are like me, you're injured, it's all about trying, failing and learning. So for the last couple of days now, we have tried out different things, um, hoping that my ankle will heal faster. And one thing we have decided now is that I'm not going to change the bandage uh, several times a day, because that's something I've been doing for the last couple of days now. I've been changing it after every session, after I've been in the shower, before I'm going to bed and everything. But uh, the nurse now think that it will be better to not change it that often. So I will not change it before tomorrow morning. So that's actually pretty nice because it takes pretty much time to do it several times a day. Ready for my second bike session for the day. The plan now is to ride around two hours and I will still use this kind of shoes but in one hour time I think Kasper will arrive and he will bring me some, uh, some new bike shoes and I will try to modify them with a knife and scissor so I can use them instead of these kind of shoes in the coming days before I can start to use my own bike shoes again. Now I just got the shoe, I've been riding one and a half hours with this kind of shoes. So now I will try to modify them and uh, make them possible for me to ride with. Don't do this at home guys, if you are not rich. Ready? This is not feeling right. Let's go! Ooh, look! Perfect! Okay, so now we have to see if it works or not. It feels promising. So... No pain in the ankle, so hopefully I will be able to do some more proper training in the next couple of days. Uh, and hopefully I can do some training outside as well. This ended up being a pretty spontaneous video about how it is being at altitude camp when things not going in the right direction but you just have to deal with it and make the best out of every situation. This probably ended up being a pretty short video but I hope you enjoyed it and once again see you in the next one. GG.